Hi, my name is Aaron, this is APR Studio, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to export a pre-master. The first thing we need to do to export a pre-master is disable any clippers and limiters that are on the master channel only. It's really important that you check all your plugins that are on the master channel because some of them might have a brick wall or limiter feature built in. Over here you'll notice that my glue compressor and my saturator also have clipping buttons that are enabled, so just make sure you're turning those off as well. If you've mixed into a mastering chain, always leave it on. Things like OTT, EQs and compression, they can stay turned on because they are essential to how the mix is sounding. Only turn off the clipper and the limiter. The next step is giving me six decibels of headroom. I'll show you how to do that in Ableton. Typically the drop is the loudest part in the mix, so that's the area we're gonna focus on. I'm gonna set a loop brace around the drop and hit play with our speakers turned down. I'm gonna head over to the mixing window and pay attention to our peak meter on the master fader right here. You can see it gets close to zero, but it's not at minus six. I'm not asking for you to turn the fader down. What I need you to do is put a utility gain at the very end of your master chain and turn that down so that your peak is dancing around minus six. It's okay if it goes just above or just below minus six, as long as it's roughly around minus six. To do that, we just turn the gain knob down here on the utility gain. We're going down minus seven decibels right now, and you can see that our peak is roughly around minus six. If you don't have utility gain, you can also use a Pro-Q3 or any other tool that isn't gonna alter the sound. Let's have a look at Pro-Q3. When I turn it on, I have no, none of the bands enabled. I'm just gonna go to the output section and I've already turned it down minus seven decibels. There we go, we've pretty much done the same effect using Pro-Q3. The next step is your exporting settings. Let's have a look at that. For the exporting settings, I always want a WAV file. I don't want MP3, I don't want dither. I only want WAV file at 32-bit. 32-bit. WAV file. For your sample rate, always use the sample rate that you, you produced in. If you've produced in 44.1, leave it at that. Any other sample rate that you produce in, make sure you leave it at that. Don't change the export sample rate setting. Once you've done that, you're ready to send me a pre-master. Thanks for watching.